morning. So I am on a really cool hike today. I've been wanting to do it for the past few weeks. It is a hike up Ptarmigan, a hike up to the peak of Ptarmigan Mountain. Um, I did it last year as a moonrise summit. Uh, starting at a slightly different trailhead, but it was so memorable that I've been really wanting to do it again. Whew, I haven't even been hiking for five minutes and these are the views already. Started out at a trail down there, joined this road. Now I'm back on a trail. I think there'll be a few neighborhoods as I climb, but they should all disappear within a couple miles. Look at the moon. Wow. This is like Dillon. This is the Dillon Reservoir. It's massive. It's beautiful. I'm in Summit County, Colorado. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Oh, there's the moon again. That's Buffalo Mountain and Red Mountain over there. And I'm going up Ptarmigan. Up, up, up. Okay, so in today's video, I am going to be reviewing the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Unbound 40 backpack. Um, it is the backpack I used on the Appalachian Trail. And I've been meaning to review it because they actually sent it, me, sent it to me for free when I was on the trail. Um, I started out with a, like the Z-Pax Arc Scout that I've been using since 2018. And that has thousands of miles on it. Absolutely love that pack. So it was hard to decide to switch to and like try out a whole new brand I've never tried out. Most through hiking backpacks on the market these days use Dyneema composite fabric to construct packs that are light, durable, and water resistant. But still, not all packs are created equal. From fit to frame or frameless, there is much to consider before investing nearly a quarter of your gear budget on a pack. So the question is, does Hyperlite Mountain Gear's newest pack deserve our time and attention? Okay, just popped out of the trees a little. There's a lot of like dead trees on this hike, which is kind of sad. Look at all those. But anyways, going this way, but this little peak came into view and I was like, hmm, I wonder if this is where I'm headed. And yes, in fact, I am. It goes this way, but then I kind of oriented my map and there it is. There's a little screen recording of that. Exciting, I can't wait to be up there above all the trees. Okay, finally getting some of the views I came up here for. Wow. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Yay. Only about half of the climb. Not even yet. Oi, 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 oi. If you are attempting a through hike, your backpack is arguably your most important piece of gear. It will affect everything from how you feel, 8 to 12 hours a day, to the distance you can hike each stretch. Now, I got really lucky with my first through hike when the pack I ordered fit, felt good, and lasted over 2,000 miles. But that was five years ago, so many game-changing designs have been introduced to through hiking packs that I truly didn't know I was missing. Let's start with the specs. The Hyperlite Mountain Gear Unbound 40 in black uses Dyneema composite fabric 150 throughout, has a 40 liter internal carrying capacity with nine liters of external carrying capacity, can comfortably carry 40 pounds, and it weighs two pounds or 32 ounces. Okay, so it looks like I just got to the intersection where I can either go to Ptarmigan Peak, which is where I'm going, or Ptarmigan uh, Pass Trail, which is that way. I don't even see the trail, honestly. I 
looks like it's like really non-existent, but I bet it pops up somewhere. Look, even more ridgeline layers are coming into view. The Rocky Mountains are spectacular. Okay, so there's actually a traverse that goes from the top of Ptarmigan Peak, where we're going, along this ridge line, like down there, along the ridge. It's about 19 miles, and it goes all the way to Ute Peak, uh, which is the next big peak along this ridge line. And I really want to do it, but I'm, I don't know if I'm really in shape for it right now. It's not really the season. <laughs> But it's definitely on my bucket list for big day hikes. Wow. Woo! Yay! <sighs> I made it! It's a little anticlimactic and like the sense that it's pretty round up here. It's not like a jagged thing. But the views are so amazing. From these specs, we can see that this pack is pretty competitive in the realm of ultralight packs. Now let's dig in a bit further and discuss the pros, cons, and why this pack may or may not be the right fit for you. I carried the Hyperlight Mountain Gear Unbound 40 for over 1,000 miles on the Appalachian Trail, and overall it was comfortable. It's light yet durable, structured yet adaptable, and simple yet complex. The structured internal frame and pack construction carried comfortably even on my heaviest stretches. The hip belt and shoulder straps are cushioned and fit well. I could easily reach my water bottles and anything else in the large side pockets. The adjustable shock cords lining the top of each side pocket and the length of the sides keep gear in place which not only increases its waterproofing by allowing internal seam taping, but it also provides a good place for a daisy chain to connect gear best placed on the outside of the pack. I was in some pretty heavy downpours <laughs> during my time on the AT and my gear always stayed dry. The back pocket is dual entry, tight but stretchy and uses non-see-through material called Dyneema stretch mesh. This pocket keeps gear in place and can seal so your pack doesn't look like a giant trash bag. The bottom half of the back pocket opens up to make gear at the bottom more accessible. And finally, the bottom pocket is excellent not only for providing extra abrasion protection, but also for being a convenient place to store gear you want easy access to. Okay, so making my way down, I just started, I just left the summit. Um, tried a different, a few different angles for the gear review video. Wasn't really working with the wind and the sun. Um, I think I got some pretty cool shots because, I mean, who are you kidding? This is, who am I kidding? These views are amazing. So, I'm going to try to get a couple of clumps on the way down. So, I'm excited to be making my way down because it's so much easier than going up. It took me a little over three hours to get up here, including, you know, breaks and doing this whole camera stuff. So, hopefully yeah, I make it down in like two and a half hours, but if I stop and film, we'll see. Wow, look how glorious it looks. Oh my goodness. So, that's the town of Silverthorne down there. And I'm staying like in a house like right around here and there somewhere. That's Buffalo Mountain. I climbed that last year. So cool to see it from this vantage point. Like, oh my goodness. And like the cloud and the shadow. Oh, wow. Amazing. So, so, so amazing. Now, 
So far, this pack might seem perfect, but what is? So let's get into some of the cons. The Unbound 40 is 10 ounces heavier than other ultralight packs on the market. That's no joke. The rigidity of the DCF and the long tube makes packing a little uncomfortable. Okay, so another con that I found with the backpack is that the buckle on the roll top closure would always get tucked under every time I would roll my backpack down. And then I'd have to unroll it to like get the buckle free so I could actually buckle it. Uh, I think this is probably just like a one-off problem. Like maybe the way mine was sent. I have no idea if like all the packs are like this, but it was pretty hard to train the belt buckle to not like fall underneath the roll top. Um, so that one might be a little silly, but it was definitely annoying. <laughs> The price is another major consideration when choosing a backpacking pack, but at $389, it's neither a pro or a con. Essentially, if you're through hiking, this is around the industry standard for an ultralight pack, which seems kind of like a lot, but if you have a king size Snickers for $2.25 every day of your six month through hike, you'll spend $405 just on Snickers. So when you think about it this way, your pack is definitely worth more than a Snickers a day. So is the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Unbound 40 right for you? Well, if you are planning a through hike, you want something structured, durable, but still ultra light, then definitely yes. If you are an occasional day hiker looking for a simple pack, this one might be more than you need. But if you are an avid backpacker and your base weight is between 10 and 20 pounds, this would be a great option for you too. Oh, I feel like you can see things so much better now that it's so bright. There's Dylan over here. Frisco's like way over there. And then Silverthorn's over here to the right. And Breckenridge is way, way, way over there. Whew, okay. I am less than a mile away, I think. <laughs> and it's been so beautiful i'm so glad that the clouds have been a little bit overcast and yet still giving me some sunshine um i think this was a really successful hike my body held up really well it's the longest one i've been on since being on the appalachian trail and but i am getting hungry what is a 10 12 mile day depending on how much farther I have without a nice veggie burger. Overall, I love this pack and I'm so impressed with all its features. If you have any questions about it, please let me know in the comments. And for the very first time, I'm gonna ask you to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. But regardless, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.